What I want to talk about on today's call is the state of marketing, the power of focus, Facebook advertising, the best three sales questions, video marketing, the importance of faces. This call is being recorded. What I want to talk about is the next big thing in marketing, which is influencer marketing. It's about they said you're great, not you said you're great. And you're going to start to hear a lot about this, guys. It's going to be in every article, everything, the way it was Facebook marketing, mobile marketing, SMS marketing. Influencer marketing is blowing up. And I wanted to start by giving you guys a quote that defines influence. What does it mean to be an influencer? Because just because somebody's got a big following on Instagram doesn't mean they're influential. You know, you can buy those followings. You can go on Fiverr and get a big following. You know, there, when Twitter first came out, dozens and hundreds and thousands of people cheated using really shady software that allowed them to gain these huge followings. But th- but they were they were kind of fluff followings. It was it was all these fake numbers. And one way to find it, if you ever see someone on Twitter, someone on Instagram, if you see that they have a large following, but they're basically following as many people as follow them. That's probably somebody using nefarious tactics. If you've ever seen somebody say, hey, there's a bunch of fake Instagram accounts popping up. There's a bunch of fake Facebook accounts popping up. I don't know what's happening here. If somebody's, somebody's trying to pretend they're me. No, you signed and tried to get some influencer marketing bullshit. You tried to get your audience to grow through a cheap tactic, and now you're getting those fake accounts. Because that's actually one of the ways people grow their followings on these networks because they set up a bunch of dummy accounts. So anytime something new and exciting happens, you know, Gary Vee says very eloquently, marketers ruin everything. And they're going to ruin influence for marketing too. But let me give you guys some some stats and, and some definitions here. The first one is from our friend Jay Bear. Jay Bear runs a blog in a company called Convince and Convert. He wrote a book called Utility that was a New York Times bestseller. His most recent book is called Hug Your Haters which is all about service, and I liked his definition. He said, true influence drives action, not just awareness. Jimmy and I have said that for a long time. The best content drives awareness and sales, and it makes your current customers like you more. So here's some stats. Right now, this is why influencer marketing is going to blow up, 94% of people who have already tried influencer marketing believe it was effective. It's just very rare that you ask people, especially small business owners, hey, what did you think of your latest marketing campaign? To get 94% to say it's effective is tough. That was from Linkia's State of Influencer Marketing Survey. And then when they looked at sort of uh, this company, Thomason, did a big study, and for every $1 companies are spending on influencer marketing, they're getting $6.50 back. It's also the fastest growing online marketing channel. The other stat that blew me away was that influencer marketing is currently tied for the most cost-effective channel with email. And I want you guys to think about that for a second. You know, we teach CAB, create, advertise, blast email. The reason we teach that is because great content, great ads, and great emails have more of an impact on your business than a lot of the other bullshit combined. Well, if influencer marketing, when the dust settles, is even half as effective as email, I'm all in. Because email is the number one digital channel for ROI for 10 straight years. So when, when I start to see data like that, I get excited. And that's why right now, budgets for influencer marketing are set to double this year. There was a cool stat on YouTube. A lot of the most influential people are YouTubers. And right now, if you think about like how many like hair and makeup and you know, cosmetic kind of YouTube channels there are. I thought this was really fascinating. 86% of the most viewed beauty videos on YouTube were actually made by influencers compared to 14% that were made by the beauty brands themselves. That was from a company called Ion, which studies influencer marketing. Now, if you look at the real estate industry, I was thinking a little bit about this. This has already been happening. Like, I got a message from uh, Dave Ramsey's team. I'm super pumped that they have invited me to speak at Dave Ramsey's event for his ELP, his his, uh, local service providers that he endorses. But Dave Ramsey sells leads right now to realtors. 
and and he is basically the influencer who's recommending that you use that provider. We've also seen that from Barbara Corcoran, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh. Th- th- these influential folks are leveraging that influence to actually sell leads to real estate agents. And let me tell you guys something. The Dave Ramsey leads are like the Glenn Gary leads th- th- from Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Th- from all the feedback from our clients, they're expensive and they're amazing. And so, like, actually, this is crazy. And, Steve, I have to forward this to you. But I got an, I got invited as soon as we made the ink list. This company that will have Rob Lowe do a business bio video about how great your business is, and, and that's insane. But you know why? Because there's a lot of people out there that like Rob Lowe. They trust Rob Lowe. And the other thing that's exciting is that when when marketers get a lead from an influencer versus getting a lead online or through word of mouth. They actually say 51% of marketers said that influencers brought better leads. And and to think about that, guys, we're in a lucky situation. Like, I'm considered an influencer in our industry. I'm trying to become an influencer outside of our industry. And if you go ask the sales team, you say, hey, guys, do you want a lead that saw Chris speak at an event? Or do you want a lead from our website? They want the lead that saw me speak all day long. So what I want to start doing is how can we get Saul Chris speak leads beyond just Chris? How can we get Saul Eric Thomas speak? Saul Lisa Archer speak? Saul Veronica Figueroa speak? Saul Joe Herrera speak, right? Like we need to really triple and quadruple down on how we treat our influencers. And, And when you think about influencers, guys, there's really only two types. There's those who use your products which are the best ones, of course. But your actual customers are not going to always be gurus. They're practitioners. So you've basically got the people who use your products. Those are the best influencers because it's the most genuine endorsement. But then you also have people who have a following who should. I'll give you one example. We only work with small businesses. Gary Vaynerchuk doesn't work with any small businesses. And so we should figure out a way to figure out how we can help get some leads from VaynerMedia. And we need to figure out a way how we can send Realogy and Zillow and Keller Williams people's information over to Gary because we don't want to work with the big corporations. The other thing I thought a lot about, this is really for Annette and for Steve specifically, every time we hit publish, it's a new opportunity to do influencer marketing. You know, we've started to do this a little bit where we don't just have a quote from me. We have a quote from Jeff Bezos. Or if if I mention, you know, Spencer Raskoff's got a great podcast in one of my calls, you know, Annette goes on Twitter and tags them and and makes sure that they know that. And what's crazy, guys, is like if we got Jason Freed or if we got Jay Bear or if we got Gary Vee to share one episode of our show, it might do better than all of our work combined. So we definitely want to start reaching out to the right influencers But the way that you reach out to them is really critical. Like, it's really helpful if you can pay them. Like, people want money. You'll even see on Instagram, you'll see hashtag ad uh, if it's an endorsed product. But what people really want is for for you to be able to scratch their back, too. I actually think bartering is better than buying influence. So who are the companies and influencers that don't have a stranglehold on the real estate industry the way we do? And how can we show them that we can help them get adoption in our trillion-dollar industry if they'll scratch our back, too? Who are the people and brands that we should work with but also understand there's risk? You know, I'm sure you guys have seen people endorsing products, and you almost can tell it's shady. So I do want us to go into this with our eyes wide open and excited, but also understanding that the wrong influencers can hurt our brand more than they help our brand long term they may be able to help us sell 30 or 50 people curator today but if they can't help us sell 300 to 500 people curator over the next two to three years i'm not really looking to work with them so step one is we need to find great work excuse me we need to find great people who are doing great work and we need to share that they are with our following the quickest way to get a yes from somebody this influential 
is to actually promote their stuff without them without anything in return. But then also we've got to recommend our accolades and our social network already. Like the fact that I've interviewed Gary V, I've interviewed Gary Keller, I've interviewed Scott Stratton. Like when you can drop those names that Neil Patel endorsed my book, Gary Vaynerchuk wrote the foreword to People Work. Ben Kenny's a text message away if I ever need to work on something in real estate. So I found that when reaching out to influencers, it really is just two things. One, here's how we can help you. Two, here's the influencers that have already said yes when we reached out. And what I found is that if the people you've already worked with are bigger than the people that you're reaching out to, you basically get a yes almost every time. Gary V and Gary Keller are big names. So if somebody's sort of, quote, unquote, less successful than them, they're probably going to say to, uh, uh, to us. Bottom line is that you have to give to get, and you have to work with the right people. But influencers can take your brand and your life. Who can we partner with? Who are the companies where if we come from contribution, we can receive reciprocity? Last little thing, guys, on a total side note. Uh, semi-related, I'll tie it together here, but uh, the conversion code was just published in Poland, uh, which is really cool. Steve is actually, I don't know if you're half Polish, Steve, or 25% Polish, but his his mother, who's not my mother, uh, her last name is Lazuka. They come from a huge Polish family up in Chicago. So that was pretty cool to see that the conversion code is now in Poland. Uh, you know, we went, Steve and I went from Polk County to Poland. And it's also been transcribed and released in India, Russia, and Brazil. So that got me thinking, like, who who are who are the Gary V's and Christmas and Jimmy Mackins of Poland? Who, who are the people in Brazil that already have the most influential marketing blog? And how can we leverage the fact that my book has been published in their country to work with them to get adoption in theirs? That's all I got, guys. Influencer marketing is the next big thing. Hey, this is Chris. Thanks for listening to my call. If you enjoyed the call, please subscribe right now. Also, share the episode and use the hashtag calls with Chris. Every week, I choose a few people randomly to win a free signed copy of The Conversion Code, my USA Today best-selling book. You can also visit curator.com. That's C-U-R-A-Y-T-O-R. Dot com to learn more about my company, which is the one I'm running during these calls. We help small businesses grow faster, and we've been featured recently by Inc., Forbes, Fortune, and Entrepreneur Magazine.